Well, I was looking for things to do while in Israel and the thought of um, walking around and, you know, really in the footsteps of, of Jesus um, got to me. And I saw it in the Lonely Planet and um, it looked like a worthwhile thing to do. When I came to do the Jesus Trail, um, it, it was a part of my pilgrimage. Uh, and for me, that, that really meant um, to seek the face of the Lord. Um, it talks many times in the Bible about um, going after God, seeking His face, and doing His will. And I've hoped many times on this trip that, you know, I am doing the will of God, that I am doing something constructive here. And I feel that, um, that in doing this trip, I have, I have indeed grown closer to him. And um, I have grown as an individual because of it. Well, there are a bunch of cool parts in the trail. Um, I think the most uh, geographically Phys you know, physically beautiful place in the entire trip was Mount Arbel and looking at that from the horns of Hattin um, it was like something out of a movie or something and uh, you could see the caves and the Sea of Galilee and it, it was moving. This, this was a time when I was running low on water um, I'd been walking all day. I wasn't really quite sure where I was. I knew I was on the trail and I was close to getting to my point. And um, coming out of the woods was this guy on horseback, you know, leading a group. And he's like, hey, how are you? You know, you know can I help you? And uh, that, was, that was a nice side to the whole trip that um, I could be out in the wilderness and Here's this, you know, this guy on horseback to, you know, come and help. And, uh, you know, it says something about, you know, the people here, I think. Um, a real sense of hospitality. If I could advise anything to the people um, watching this, it would be to bring the three liters of water and to buy the book. The roads, um, you need to know where to go. Um, and the trail is marked, but there are places when it would help a lot.